All right, guys, I want to introduce you to something interesting. Uh, let's assume that I want to develop an application or a website. Um, I need to have the tools to be able to do that, okay? To develop my app or to develop my website. I need to use uh, what we call text editors or uh, IDEs. IDE simply means uh, integrated development environments. Okay, so for websites, normally we use uh, text editors, okay? And then we write our languages in those text editors or in those IDEs. All right, so for for me to develop a website, I might need I need Notepad++ or I can use Visual Studio Code or I can use Atom. This is, these, these are what we call text editors, okay? They are just simple text editors. All right, if for instance, I wanna make an application, develop an app, I have to find an IDE, Integrated Development Environment, which is Eclipse right here. I can use Code Blocks right here. I can use Android Studio right here for Android applications. Uh, so, that's how you develop this stuff okay so uh, today I'm just roughly going to take you through Visual Studio Code and you know what it takes uh, for you to develop a website okay so for Visual Studio Code it's easy uh, it's a free um, text editor what you simply have to do you have to go to um, um, to Google right here um, I'm gonna take you to the Google page uh, google right here and then you type in visual studio code download like this one and then it's going to take you to a link the first link that you see code.visualstudio.com you click on it it takes you to uh, the download page all right over here as you can see we have one for windows we have one for mac and then we have one for this one ubuntu i think this is like linux all right so we have these three versions so you can actually download the one that is compatible with your machine okay so after you download the setup you have to run the setup in your machine and then after you finish running up this this setup you have to uh find the icon for the visual studio code or you can find it here okay so you can actually find it on this menu right here so i have it here um visual studio code here and then i can open it it's different you know we have visual studio 2019 this is an ide and this is a text editor just a text editor so i'm working on the text editor with this light blue color all right so i can double click on it and then we open once it's open you have access to this page over here and this is the welcome page that you see um, when you first uh, open this Visual Studio Code for the first time. So you have this start here, you can create a new file, a folder, or add a, work, uh, a workspace folder. You have recent, recent is a project that you have been working on, and then you have the help, and then we have, you can customize, you can learn. All right, and then this is one of the most important pens that you can find in Visual Studio Code. You have the Explorer window here, okay? For any pro project that is open, you will see the folders here on the Explorer. And then search is for searching information in the documents that you have. The Git, um, this is for control, source control, you know. You use Git for source control. You know, you, you still have to learn more about that. Don't worry about these things. And then the, and then another aspect that is really important is the extensions. Over here, you come and click here. This is what I want you guys to do. And then you look for live server here. Uh, once you type in live server, it's gonna show up here. Okay, so you have to install, click this green uh, button right here to install Live Server. For me, it's already installed because I can see this settings icon here. So once you see this setting icon, it simply means you have installed this uh, Live Server. All right, the Live Server is gonna help you to, you know, um, uh, when you want to run your website, uh, each and every time you make changes to your website or to your HTML, this is where you run your website okay so and then down here we have the settings uh, icon you can change settings uh, for your uh, text editor all right so if you want to toggle in between you know these uh, uh, menus you can just click here or click here you know you can toggle between but if you want to you know 
to close it you can just toggle it again you can just uh, click on it again and then it it clears and then it takes you to the welcome page like this one all right for us we are going to uh, work on a project so we need to open a folder you know uh, a folder makes uh, everything organized we're not going to create a file because the file is just going to be one thing so uh, we need three files in our folder so we have to create a folder so what we do is we go on open folder you click on open folder it takes you to a destination and then um and then you create a folder in you know uh, in the place that you want to put your files in all right uh, where you want to you know to save the folder uh, for your project so for me i, I want to save it here uh, in the download so i've already created a folder uh, called new website but you can create a new folder here okay for those on windows i don't know for those on mac but on windows you can just click this new folder you have a new folder or you can right click and create a new folder and then you give it a name but for me i've given i've already given this folder a name called new website right so that's this is the folder where i'm going to put my file so i have to select the folder okay but if you don't have you can right click you can create new folder and you can say new uh something new something right um new some some something okay still it's gonna work uh you you all right now i have new something i can select new something and then here hit select folder and then it's gonna open in this uh, text editor okay you wait for a while so now i have new something here as you can see this is the folder that i'm working in but for now it doesn't have any file so i have to create file so for now i can switch i can you know close this welcome um, window right here and then work inside this new something okay so over here as you can see i have icons for new file i have, I have icons for folders new folder i have icon for refresh explorer i have another one for collapse folders i can collapse all right but for, for now we want to work on uh, creating a new uh file so i can come here and when i click on new file all right it gives me an option to edit the file so i have to give it a name so i can say main dot html okay uh, for html uh, files you have to have the extension dot html all right for for those who are versed with uh, languages i think you know what html means it means hypertext markup language is the language that you use to write websites okay so we have to use html or you can just leave it as htm it's still gonna work okay so this is what we have to do main dot blah 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 extension okay so i've created my first uh, file here if i want to create another file for css boom i have to create another file i can name it main dot css and then i can enter so now i have two files um for javascript files i have to create another one main dot js as you can see I'm, I'm creating these i've created three files now you see so these are the files that will um that i have to use to create my website so i have to use the html the css and the javascript as you can see now um each time i give an extension i have a different icon okay so this is um visual studio code saying we have recognized that this is a css file we have recognized that this is an html file we have recognized that this is a javascript file okay you get to know in depth as to what is css what is html and what is javascript okay for now we're going to work on html html is the language that you uh, use to put uh, information onto your website okay if you want to put uh, paragraphs you want to put uh, text you want to put uh, pictures you want to put videos you have to input them in the html okay so that's what we're going to do right now i'm just going to take you roughly on what you have to do so for you uh, for your for you, you you go on line one here make sure that it's selected here let us close these other um tabs because we're not looking at them so for for the html you click in 
uh, as you can see, it's numbered here, it's number one. It showed that it's HTML and then you have the cursor showing. And then I have to create an HTML document. So for, for start, I have to create the root element. Root element, like we said, is the HTML, HTML. All right, and for us, we're working with HTML5. Uh, this is the latest version. So Emmet, uh, is, this is an extension. Uh, which you can also uh, download over here from these uh, extensions. It, it, it auto completes for you the code. So um, it, you go on HTML5 and then you press enter. And then as you can see, you are already given a boilerplate, okay? This is just a skeleton of how your page is gonna look like, okay? So I can change the title of this uh, document and say my website as you can see in the title and then in the body here that's where uh, information on the website is going to show right this is where i need to put the information that is going to show on the web page uh, so i can put in a heading here um, h1 um, my new website here i can do that all right and then i have to save this Control S, save the document, and then if I want to run it, I can right click on it, open with Live Server, run it. And then once you, you run it, as you can see here, it's showing in on the web page my new website. Okay, this is an H1 heading, so it's kind of big. And so, um, as you can see, now it's running. Uh, I'm up and running. So, like I said, if you want to. Uh, um, you know, uh, have that uh, extension for Emmet. Emmet, it's 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 one of the extension that you can use. Uh, here I have ELM Emmet and then Emmet Live and then Emmet JSS. These all these extensions you can install them on your machine so that you have your code auto completed for you. Okay, and so um, I can I can come here. Um, and I can see my, you know, the files that are in my folder, right? Mm. I can also see open editors, like the files that are open right now. It's main.html that is open. So if I close it, this will be empty. This will be blank. But once I open something, it's, it shows up here. Once I open this one, it shows. It also shows up here. It shows you files that are open. You can also see files that are open over here. So. As you can see, this is how you're going to work with, you know, you can create files here, you can edit your files here and stuff like that. So this is how basically HTML works. And this is how you basically use Visual Studio Code to create your websites. All right, I hope you guys understood. I thank you for um, listening and thank you for your time. I hope you guys understood. If you have any questions, you can send them in the group. It's okay. I'm, I'm free to answer you uh, if I can. All right. Thank you, guys.